Hello everyone! It's daytime! I'm Buster the Fox, and oh my gosh, it's Puzzle League! It's not really, but it's kind of like it. This is Super Plexus. This is a game currently only for iPhone. It is a Kickstarter game that is being advertised as inspired by Puzzle League, Tetris Attack, and Meteos. Which, by the way, if you're savvy to the series, you know that Tetris Attack and Puzzle League are the exact same game. But, anyway, this is Super Plexus. It's actually a Kickstarter game. I don't know if I mentioned that already. <laughs> I'm just too- I'm excited to play this. I'm gonna jump right in. We're gonna go into single player. Um... I think let's start with Endless. So, this game, as you can see from this little screenshot here... Oh, right. This... I had to borrow my brother's iPhone to do this video, so <laughs> I'm going to have to give this back to him and I wasn't able to set up the settings to show my touches or anything. But let's go ahead and just go straight into it. So you can see it's just like Puzzle League. If you've never played it before, the idea is that you swap blocks left and right like this and then you have to make uh, sets of three in order to clear them just like that and then you can make chains and stuff. However, in this one, you don't just go left and right, you can also go up and down. So, that's something that's similar to Meteos, I'd say. And I'm having trouble getting... there we go. Alright, um... There's that. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to play a little bit. Let's do that. Some of that action. Eh. No, I missed it. Eh. Well, touchscreen controls are a little hard to get used to here. It doesn't help that the phone I'm playing on is a little bit tiny. I don't know what model of iPhone it is, but... Eh, jeez. It's hard for me to hit the blocks I'm trying to hit. Alright, so yeah, this is Super Plexus. I'm, I'm playing it exactly like Puzzle League right now. I'm forgetting that I can go up and down. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's try to use that to our advantage here. Nope, that didn't help at all. Um, do that. Oh, and I could have done something like that. Okay. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't suck. This is amazing, actually. Look at this. If you ever wanted a portable puzzle league, there's never been anything better than this. Look at this. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is... It plays just like Puzzle League. There are so many clones out there of Puzzle League that just don't play right. Like, the physics and the timing between when blocks go down and stuff. Ugh, but look at this. It's so much better. So I can do some of that noise. And do some of that, and do some of that, and some of that. Oops, I went too far over. Oh, yeah, aha. Uh -huh. Being able to move down really adds a new layer of strategy onto the old gameplay which I actually really like so far. Of course, I've only been here for two minutes, according to that little clock in the upper left corner. Ooh, and they even jump when you get to the uh, near the top. Okay, go that way, go that way, do that. Wow, you can do big chains with this. That's really crazy, actually. Let's see. So, I know I haven't done a lot of Puzzle League stuff on my channel, that's not from any lack of trying. It just doesn't lend itself too well to Let's Play most of the time. Uh, anyway, yeah. Let's get out of here for now. Um, forfeit. Oh! I died. Alright. <laughs> hey, I got a background. Cool. And achievement unlocked. Alright. So, yeah. This is a puzzle game, but it's also sort of an RPG. Um, let's go to versus AI. I'm going to choose Aria because she's the cutest. Look at her with her bells. And then there's these other characters, but we only start off with these two. Um, and then there's different skins. That's another thing that's inspired by Meteos. Yep, do it. Do it. No skin. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, so as you continue playing, um, you get... Well, let's, let's do this first, and then I'll describe that. And I also noticed that there's a hardcore thing, which I'll look at in a sec. Alright, so I can see up at the top of the screen the AI is uh, playing on their board. 
so let's do some of that. Let's try to kill the AI, I suppose. Let's see how this works. Oh, 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 I'm taking damage. You see that? I'm taking damage. I have HP. So, I've always suspected um, Puzzle League games... Ooh, uh, stop it. Go, 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 go. I've always suspected Puzzle League games of having sort of an internal timer for when you're about to die. Eh, like when you're hitting the top of the screen. This literally shows you the timer. <laughs> Alright, let's... Oh boy. It's hard for me to get used to uh, the little touch controls here. The phone that I use is bigger, has a bigger screen than the, the touch screen that my brother's iPhone has, so forgive me if I'm having a bit of trouble with the controls here. I'm just not used to the smaller screen. Alright. Man, this is Puzzle League at its core, really. And I love that. I mean, this is something I've been wanting on mobile for a long time. By the way, I failed to mention this, I think. Uh-oh, he just did something. What did he do? Oh yeah, that was a cool thing I just did. Um, this game is not on Android yet. Uh, notice I say yet. It is going to be on Android. They're working on an Android version. Oh, I just did something. I don't know what I just did. Um, oh, let's swipe up. Pow! Whoa! Wow. Okay. Oh, and look, he's taking such a ton of... Oh my gosh! Why? How? Uh, stop. Go there. Do that. Um, don't panic. That's how we lose these games. Go there. Do that. Alright. Pal. Chains like crazy. Not even intending to. Do that. Do that. Go down. Yes. Now do that. Oh, go, go, go. Alright, I'm gonna die. Go, oh, I'm really gonna die. I have 27 health left. Okay. Um, oh, he's gonna die. Come on, die. Die for me, buddy. Eh. Try to chain as much as possible here. Oh, yes! We got him! Yay! <laughs> oh, that was... Ah... Uh... Guys, I'm sure you guys are watching, um, maybe, I hope the developers are watching. If you are, please, the, the Android version, I, I need to play this on my bigger screen. <laughs> I'm level 2. You can level up? Portrait unlocked. Gator Clops. Lumina Gift. You earned a Lumina Gift. So this is what I was going to talk about earlier. Um, if you've ever played Meteos in that game... Um, every Meteo that you fire off the screen gets added to your collection of Meteos, and then you use those to quote-unquote fuse, or just buy new characters to play as, new backgrounds, new items, and stuff like that. I think that this is what that's based off of, or that is what this is based off of, this Lumina thing. So, you earned a Lumina gift. Lumina can be used to buy items in the shop, such as characters, skins, block sets, portraits, all kinds of different stuff. So, view your total balance, check the shop profile, blah 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 blah. So, it's a currency, right? Oh, well here, I, I didn't have to explain that. Lumina is the in-game currency for Super Plexus. When you make matches with blocks in any game mode, you accumulate Lumina equal to the amount of blocks you matched. So, very similar to the Meteo system I just mentioned. Um, you can use Lumina to buy items in the shop, such as characters, yeah, we already went that. You can also earn level up rewards in the form of Lumina, and even purchase it on, in the shop with real money. So yeah, this is the, um, the way that this game is making money, other than it is on Kickstarter. Which, by the way, there's a Kickstarter link in the description to the Kickstarter. As of the date of recording, which is the 21st of April 2017, it has 15 days left in the campaign. They're nearly halfway to their goal of 6,000, which for a game Kickstarter is really pretty modest, to be honest. But yeah. Oh, I guess I don't... I guess I touched that and it tells me about that. Okay, so I'll hit the X. There we go. Okay, I had no idea there was a level system. That's really cool. So let's go to the shop real quick and take a look at what there is to buy here. So all of this stuff is completely um, 
not game breaking. Um, it's it's all cosmetic and optional and stuff. So like, there's different skins here. You can see here's another skin for that character I was just playing as. Look at the ribbon. It's even cuter than usual. All right, um, and like different blocks and stuff like that. I'm not sure what this is. A third dimension, unfathomable. Oh, is unfathomable. But in a portrait, anything is possible. I guess this is a uh, a portrait for like multiplayer. By the way, multiplayer. There is multiplayer. This. Rocky the Mud. Oh, that's because I'm on my brother's phone. <laughs> I was like, wait, why does it say Rocky the Mud? How does it know who I am? No, that's that's because it's my brother's phone. But yeah, you can play online. It has online. Look, there's a ranking ladder. Wins and losses. Oh my gosh. I have to give this a try. Uh, let's start with unranked, just because. Let's see if there's anyone actually online, by the way. <laughs> This is still uh, technically a beta, I guess. Um, the Kickstarter is obviously to get out the Android version, and they're actually also planning a PC and Switch version. Nintendo Switch, yes. I think PC. I recall the Switch for sure. I don't remember if they were saying they wanted to do a PC version. There doesn't seem to be anyone online right now, so I'm gonna go back and cancel that search. That's fine. Let's go back to single player and show off the adventure mode here. Alright, Mavs. Hello, welcome to adventure mode. I am Mavs, M-A-V-S. A device created to guide you through this world of Lumina, also known as Len. Sorry if all this is a bother. I won't mind if you use the expert and to exit our conversation. I just want to show you how adventure mode works. So apparently he says something special if you hit the X button right now, but... <laughs> really? You'll stay with me? Even though I don't have feelings, I'm very self-conscious. So, let's look at the map. It's quite simple. Levels are marked along the path, and you can enter levels by tapping them, but only if the level is lit up with a floating icon. So that one in the lower left there. Uh, maybe I'm moving too fast. Just tap that first level. Alright, so down there. This is the level preview. It'll tell you everything you need to know about levels. I know a lot about levels too, but yeah. <laughs> There are different types of levels, their own goals and rewards. Looks like this is a puzzle level and it says to clear all the blocks to win. Aha! Uh -huh. And there's a reward of Lumina for clearing it. So, <laughs> please take your time. In the original Puzzle League games, there were puzzle modes. Like you saw that this is an action puzzle game, but this gives you unlimited time and a certain amount of swaps and you have to um, clear the puzzle. And there we go. That's something that's in the original Puzzle League game, and it looks like this is a thing that they're using for adventure mode in this one. But I think there are also battle stages, like the AI one. Oh, what's this? Wow, you actually did it! I mean, I always believed in you. Now you've unlocked the next level. Keep it up. Alright, this has timed. Clear 100 blocks in two minutes. Okay, so this is just a series of challenges. And when I say it's just a series of challenges, I mean it's a series of challenges, which is really cool. I like this. Um, previous Puzzle League games have had adventure modes. Oh, go over there. Eh, go over there. It's hard for me to hit the blocks again. <laughs> I need to stop complaining about that. You, you know already. Whoops, I got the wrong one. <laughs> Alright. So, let's just go ahead and clear all these. Oh, whoops, that's not what I intended to do. Oh, no, go there, go there, now go there, now go there. Oh, sound cut out for a second there, that was weird. <laughs> I imagine that's the method I'm using to record the screen right now. Combolicious! Nice. Um, I'm using a screen mirroring program to put the iPhone screen onto my computer screen, which seems like it would be a little bit glitchy just by nature, but I don't know, I've never done it before. When I record Android games like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, I, uh, I use um, a native screen recording app, but uh, in this case I don't have to go through as much trouble. So how many more? We've cleared 89 blocks. Oh, don't do that. Gotta make sure I don't kill myself there. Alright, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, we did it. Alright, cool. 
Ooh, level reward, goal reward. So we get XP also. And I guess you get uh, more Lumina rewards and stuff like that for leveling up. That's really cool. It gives you something to work towards, you know. I like games where, like, the actual gameplay is rather simple. But the more you play, the more you work towards ongoing goals like level ups. Oh, so here's a versus match. As Aria, defeat Clef in 5 minutes, easy AI. Okay. Extra goals, clear with 1 minute remaining. Use Aria's ability resonance. I should be able to do that. I think I can probably kill him in 4 minutes or less. Okay, so this little thing on the left is our special meter. Um, if we get that full... Go to the left! Oh my gosh. Then... If we swipe up with it, then we should be able to use our special attack, which is what we did there. I don't know what this little bell on the left is with the 9, but maybe I should try it to find out. <laughs> let's see, let's do this, and do that, and do that. Looking good, looking good. Keep it up. Let's do it. Ugh. Ah, I messed up. That was pretty good, though. Look at all that garbage I sent him. Let's do that. Oh no, I'm gonna kill him! No, live, live, Clef. I need to use my ability. Oh, I killed him too fast. <laughs> oh, I'm too much for him. <laughs> Even though I'm still getting used to the controls. Oh well. Well, we got to level three. Not that it matters because this is not my phone and there's I don't have an eye device. Oh well. Sound cut out again. Oh, the entire game froze for a second there. That was not the game's fault. That is the screen mirroring fault. <laughs> oh well. You'll just have to deal with that. I'm dealing with that. This is the only way I could make a video on this. And I really wanted to make a video on this. Because I'm a huge fan of this series. Well, not this series. The Puzzle League series, you know. And look at this. It's freaking Puzzle League. I love it. This is so fun. Oh man. I want this on Android. It's not fair that I don't get this. By the way... Listen to that music. Let me go back to the title screen real quick. So there's a timed one. Um, okay, exit. Alright, listen to this. If you can hear this music, this music, the sound font, taken straight out of Tetris Attack. No question about it. This, and here, that sound right there, Super Mario World. Yeah, I've got an ear for this stuff. They took the sound straight out of Panel Day Pwn, Tetris Attack, Super Mario World, and used those sounds to make their own music. That's freaking incredible. I love that. And this song too is really good, by the way. I know this is made by two guys. One of them is the programmer and one of them is the composer, I guess. But man, I love this. This is so good. Let's go to Endless for a while. I just want to keep playing. <laughs> Because as soon as I uh, finish this video, I have to get my brother's phone back. So I'm going to keep on playing as long as I can. So uh, forgive me if this turns out to be a long video. It's because I want to keep playing. <laughs> oh, Super Plexus, guys. Check it out on Kickstarter. It's a thing. Um, I guess it's one of those Kickstarters where their plan is to continue with building the game even if they don't make their goal on Kickstarter. Oh, oh, that's an interesting little thing you can do. Okay, um, do that. You did it. So, um, still, support them on Kickstarter. Uh, we can make it go faster. <laughs> and I want this on the Android as soon as possible, just so you all know. Um, go there, do that. Giga, giga, giga. Yeah, I need more practice. Once I get practiced up at this, I'm going to be pretty good at this. Because Puzzle League, as I said, I'm a huge fan of the series. And I'm very, very, very good at the game. <laughs> like, at my best, I can do 16 combos, or chains, rather. I guess they call them combos in this game. I can do 16 chains on, like, the hardest difficulty and stuff like that. I'm going to have to do a Let's Play of a proper Puzzle League game one of these days and show that off, but here we go, go down, no, do that. It's very useful to be able to go up and down at the same time with everything else being pretty much the same as far as the Puzzle League mechanics go, 
but go no don't do that good wow <laughs> I wonder hey devs if you're watching again are there any of the old frame perfect tricks like um, if I did this and then it's I don't know how to describe it like if there was a uh, purple block right there and this fell down could I go like that at the last second to get a match right there that's one of the old things that I've practiced up on a lot in the puzzle league games. It's something I would like to see. <laughs> but of course I know um, from experience how hard it is to make a system like this. Intelligent systems, man, when you try to remake their games, it doesn't work very well. I've, I've done a little bit of game development myself. A little bit, mind you. Not anything like major at all and in a program that's not like real game development. It's called Stagecast Creator. But I tried to recreate Puzzle League once and it did not work out very well at all. I ended up even trying to make it a fusion between Puzzle League and Bejeweled and that didn't work either. <laughs> and I only did it out of necessity because I wasn't good enough to uh, program actual Puzzle League physics. Anyway, I'm starting to get used to this a little bit. Um, a little bit. <laughs> Let's go here. Let's try to get a four chain. And then we'll move on to another AI battle. How's that sound? Alright, um, let's do that. Oh, that was not what I intended. That happens a lot when I play Puzzle League in general. Something happens and I say, oh, that's not what I intended to do. Oh, go... No. Okay, so you can move stuff around a whole lot, but you can't move it, you can't change from going horizontal to vertical out of nowhere. You kind of have to drag it around. Go, go over there. I need to get a chain to stop. There's, go over there. Go up there. I'm going to kill myself. Oh no. This is not good. Go, go, go up. Okay. Oh, that didn't actually stop the stack. Okay. <laughs> Good. Great. Not like I wanted to win or anything. Go over... No. Da. Gah. De. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Boom. 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 Oh, that was pretty good. Was that a four chain? I'm gonna call that a four chain. I don't... I don't notice. Ooh, there's all these different things you can do. Let's forfeit and do one last uh, AI duel to f finish this off. Oh, and there's an ad. Alright, sorry about that. I, I didn't know there would be ads. <laughs> hey, that's a normal thing you get in uh, mobile games. Anyway, so let's do one more versus AI. I know the adventure mode is not complete yet. Um, there didn't seem to be anyone online in multiplayer. Let's just fight the AI. So... Ooh, we can set to difficulty. Oh, let's see. So, at the bottom here, I remember saying I wanted to do this. Let's set it back to normal, because it says Hardcore Mode plus Bonus XP, Horizontal Swapping Only. So this is full-on Classic Puzzle League Mode. So Hardcore Mode, quote-unquote, is more like Classic Mode, when you really get down to it. So let's play some Puzzle League here, right? Yep. Eh, he just used an attack on me. I don't know what that did. Move. Go. Alright. Um. Oh, there we go. Pow. Oh, right. I just tried to move a block downwards. That doesn't work here, because this is, this is hardcore mode. I feel like I'm playing Minecraft now, calling it hardcore. Alright. Um. Alright. So, remember, remember your Puzzle League training, Buster. The Puzzle League training. Nope, go, 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 go. Hmm. There's a lot of differences between what I've been getting used to this whole time and original Puzzle League style mechanics. Like there, that was a bad thing I just did. I needed to keep that block on the similar plane because there's no way to move blocks back up in original Puzzle League. Um, oh, that was dumb too. See, I'm trying to move stuff up. It's not going to work. Uh, okay, no, see, 
I'm, oh my gosh. I keep on trying to move stuff up. <laughs> I'm already used to the uh, old mechanics. Let's do that. So, I guess you can definitely say it's one of those uh, easy to learn, tough to master kinds of games. Eh. Nope. Oh, that didn't work. It kind of sucks that I can't move vertically anymore because that's kind of what I've been relying upon whenever I make stupid mistakes because I'm not used to the controls. <laughs> oh, uh oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh oh, I can't do that. Okay, do that. Now go there. Uh, go there. Uh oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah. Go there. Use the bells. Hit, hit the other dude with my bell attack. Go there. Okay. I gotta make sure I'm doing uh, chains and combos and such. Do that. Uh oh. He's hitting me. He is hitting me. That's badness. Oh! I'm gonna use this heal block here. Pow! And that also uh, hits the, uh, the garbage block there. Let's do that. Oh! Does that send it all? Oh! That sends all of my blocks over to his screen! That's amazing! That's just like Meteos! Oh my gosh! Training Battlegrounds. 1,000 blocks cleared already, and we've only been playing this game for, what, 25, 26 minutes? That's so good! In Meteos, um... The blocks fall down from the sky, and you have to match them, and then they launch up. And you have to launch them off the top of the screen, and then they go to your opponent. That's what her special move is! That's so freaking cool! <laughs> That's so cool! Oh my gosh. All right, sorry about that. That was another advertisement there. Um, now that I uh, think about it, I do recall in the shop, um, they said there is... Yeah, here it is. It's right there at the top. Remove ad. There's an ad blocker right there. So that costs 30,000 Lumina. We already have 18,040 Lumina. So you can buy this for real money. As you can see, you can buy 8,000 for 99 cents. And to get 30,000, um, you can spend like five bucks. If you want to spend five bucks, you can turn off the ads. Or if you just keep on playing, and if you're really good like me, and you will be playing a lot, then you can just get rid of this for free. Because you get Lumina as you play. Yeah, that's really cool. That's so cool. Guys, this game, I am so freaking sold on this game. If I had any money, <laughs> I would be supporting this on Kickstarter, but as you know, I have a Patreon myself, and it is rather barren at the moment. So, <laughs> uh, I'm unfortunately unable to support this game on Kickstarter, so that's why I'm doing what I can here on YouTube. I'm hoping that you guys will be able to go over to the Kickstarter and show some support for this freaking awesome game. Hopefully, um, send the messages to the devs and bug them about the Android version so that I can play some more and maybe do another video when I have a bigger screen to do it on. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, check out the Kickstarter. It's in the, it's in the description. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Watch the trailer at least, please. For my sake. As well as theirs, because I want this game to happen. I mean, clearly it's already happened. Look at this. This is... And they call this a demo. They have the gall to call this a demo. It's so good. All right, all right, I'm gonna stop gushing, we're gonna end it off now, so... Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe before you go. But until next time, goodbye everyone. It's night time! <laughs>